Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host Nathan P. Butler, author of A Saga on Home Video, and this time we take a look at something that I think needed to be put out in an episode fairly quickly and somewhat urgently um, to make sure the collectors out there knew these existed so they could find them. Uh, this ties into a recent episode we did about those September 22nd stealth releases um, that were all put out uh, through various places, um, but done with no fanfare whatsoever. Those included... For example, A New Hope here, right? This was the round of Blu-rays for all 10 of the live action films that were Blu-ray and digital copies with this new packaging here where all the discs have new labels, but the discs themselves are the same as the last time we saw them on Blu-ray, or at least their initial release, I should say, on Blu-ray. Because last time an initial for most of them doesn't matter, but for The Force Awakens it does matter. It is the initial release, not the one from the uh, 3D Collector's Edition with some of the extra stuff on it here. These were just the films, no bonus discs, all the bonus stuff was tied into the digital copy, and there was a DVD equivalent of each one for a total of 20 releases. Now, you may recall that in the process of that not really getting much in the way of an actual uh, announcement, you had the fact that those releases had shown up on the Walmart website at a time when they had dropped off of most other websites. So some of us thought it might be a Walmart exclusive. So I went running around to Walmarts on the morning of the 22nd only to find nothing but then found them elsewhere at Targets and Best Buys and places like that. One of the weird things is that since this release, it's become more widespread. You can see it more places. A Disney Movie Club has now put up a notice that they're all available through Disney Movie Club, so if you're trying to get them, it's a much easier way to get your hands on them. But Walmart still hadn't put them up. There are four Walmarts in my area that I bounce between. None of them had any of them up, and still don't. And it was freaking weird only to find that maybe there's a rational reason for it, because maybe they were waiting for something of their own. Turns out that Walmart, the place that hasn't really had these at all on their shelves, at least not around here, uh, and in, in terms of people that I talk to within the home video community, not in their places either, Walmart did indeed have an exclusive tied into this release. Exclusive to Walmart, but it's not these regular releases like we at one point thought it might be. And thankfully, it's not all of them. What we want to take a look at in this episode is the Walmart exclusive. Now, if you thought those originals were a pain in the ass to find when they first came out on September 22nd, they are nothing compared to the difficulty of actually finding the Walmart exclusives out in the wild right now. Because basically, some Walmarts have them, some don't. The majority do not. Uh, of the Walmarts that have them, sometimes they're spread around in different places in the store. Sometimes they're in the toy section. Sometimes they're in the home video section. Sometimes they're up front. Sometimes they're on a shelf. Sometimes they're on a little uh, sort of black and gold-ish uh, Funko uh, display, basically, that has little Funko pops on it, plus some posters, plus on one of the sides, these. And some uh, little VHS-looking boxes that include T-shirts. We're actually going to look at it in our next episode as another Walmart exclusive. It's kind of tangential to home video because a lot of home video collectors are wanting to get them to put on their shelves. So in my case, I was only actually able to find two of these at an actual store in my area. Again, bouncing between those four, going multiple times to each one. Thankfully, I actually found out about these through a viewer. Okay? Paul De La Rosa out in Texas ran into the Empire Strikes Back version of this Walmart exclusive and let me know. At first I was skeptical, like, oh God, please no, please no, please no, please no. And sure enough, he was able to show me a picture of the one that he was able to pick up. So once he showed me that, and I knew they were legit, <sighs> yeah, I had to go try to hunt them down. I went out and found A New Hope and Return of the Jedi at a local Walmart. Still haven't seen an Empire Strikes Back at any of the local stores, just like he hadn't seen anything other than Empire. Thankfully, though, I was able to clean out the three copies each of A New Hope and Jedi that that particular store had. And between me, Justin Reichert, or Richard, I don't know how to say your last name there, Justin, uh, and Paul De La Rosa, we were able to kind of all pick up the pieces so that by the time it was done, Paul had Empire, Justin had Empire. I didn't have Empire, but had multiple copies there of A New Hope and Jedi, and we just sort of made sure everybody got what they needed. So at least three of us have all three of them, thank goodness, within that same small collecting community. Um, but they really are a pain in the ass to find. And you gotta know what you're looking for to be able to spot them. Again, this is the original A New Hope release from the 22nd. 
A week or two later, Walmart starts getting their exclusives in some stores. And no, as Justin found out, you cannot just order these online through Walmart and get their exclusive. The ones that actually come through the Walmart website are the regular ones, making it even more of a pain in the ass. What we get with these exclusives, and thankfully it's only the original trilogy, which makes little to no sense, I'll point that out in a moment, was these. Right? This is the A New Hope version, differentiated by the fact that it's got this sticker right there. Exclusive lithograph inside, more like a postcard kind of thing, but whatever, only at Walmart. And it shows you what the lithograph is that's inside. It has this little symbol next to it, uh, along with the product number underneath. But that symbol says Commemorative Edition Skywalker Saga. So you would think this might be something where they would be releasing all of them? Or at least all the numbered episodes, because that is kind of the Skywalker Saga, right? That's kind of the whole point. That's why they got the book called Skywalker Saga that doesn't really include Episode 9, which is asinine, but that's a whole other thing. Surely it's going to be all of them. No, it's just the original trilogy from what we've seen so far. Uh, coupled with some exclusive posters that are not tied into the home video release, but just also exclusive on the same stand, if your store has that Funko Pop display, which may be in electronics, may be in toys. The actual packaging itself, aside from that sticker, is the same as what we saw on September 22nd. Same codes and everything. But it includes a mini lithograph. Nothing on the back. So this is similar to what we saw back in 2006 with the Target exclusive versions of the original trilogy being released, where you had those little postcards included with them as well. But in two of these cases, it's different art than Target had. In one case, it's the same. So there's the A New Hope art here. Down at the bottom it just says Star Wars A New Hope. Concept art by Joe Johnson. Copyright 2019 and trademark Lucasfilm Limited. And a product number. Also in the mix with these, and this is the one that Paul was able to grab for me because his store had Empire and nothing else. We have the Empire Strikes Back. Again, same look as September 22nd, but the sticker there denoting the fact that it has the lithograph inside. This is the one that looks like the same concept art and is actually the same concept art as 2006. Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back, concept art by Ralph McQuarrie. But it is that same concept art that we've seen previously on one of these types of releases. And then lastly, Return of the Jedi, with its sticker typically on the opposite side from all the copies that I've seen for some reason. Okay, but again, inside, same contents, except the concept art piece here for the speeder bikes. In Star Wars Return of the Jedi, concept art by Nilo Rodas Jamero, or Nilo Rodas Hamero, Hamero? I don't know how to say the last name there, but I'm assuming, starting with the J there, that it's probably of Spanish origin, okay? So what you have here basically is kind of like what they did with the 3D collector's edition of The Force Awakens where Walmart got a special version that just has one of these postcard size lithograph concept art things inside it, which makes it harder to find and makes it something that collectors are trying to rush out and grab. So yeah, three Walmart exclusives, only the original trilogy. Although I just turned 40 on October 17th and on my birthday, as I was talking about the fact that hallelujah on my birthday, the one came in from Paul. So I now have a complete set of three Brian Snook, who's been a great friend of the show, buddy of mine, uh, also a Patreon supporter, uh, popped up and said, I just saw the prequel trilogy at my Walmart. As I'm like, oh, mother, and trying to figure out, okay, when am I going to get to Walmart? When am I going to get to Walmart? He then said, yeah, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I just wanted to see if I could give you a heart attack. Almost. Almost didn't make it past 40. Uh, but thankfully, it does look like it is just those three. So... For those of you who are out there looking for the new releases for 2019, the ones through Walt Disney Studios Home Entertainment, if you're looking for A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, or Jedi, you could just pick up these Walmart exclusive ones and you've got the same thing that's in the regular version, plus those extra lithographs. If you've already picked up the 20 releases for September 22nd, though, and you're looking for the exclusives, you can find them at Walmart, but again, it depends on which Walmart you're looking at, and you can't rely on the website. You also can't rely on the app where it's supposed to tell you what's in stock where because that feeds off the website information and doesn't differentiate between regular and not. Not to mention the fact that most of the time when it says that any of these are in stock at a Walmart, they're not really actually in stock. It's a pain in the butt 
Walmart has completely dropped the ball on this crap this time around. So if you're looking for them again, that Walmart sticker, which is actually on the slip cover, that is going to be your indicator that you're finding the exclusives. If anybody does happen to run into any exclusive versions from Walmart that aren't these three, but have that same design from September 22nd, 2019 release, let me know. But it certainly appears based on the displays and reports from other stores that this does appear to be an original trilogy only thing. Thank goodness, because at least it's an extra 60 bucks, not an extra, good God, hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So with that, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching and may the force be with the home video viewers, but not with Walmart because you guys really suck.